Welcome to NA Productions. Hello viewers, it's me, Barry Angle, and yes, I did get a haircut. I haven't made a video in a while, so, well, today I'm going to make a video. This video is going to be about a math thing. It's called factorials. It's how many different ways you can arrange a number of things. Let me show you. But before I do that, I need to tell you that the symbol for factorials is an exclamation point. Whenever you see an exclamation point on a calculator, that doesn't mean that you're shouting numbers. It means factorials. So, let's get to it. So, imagine you have three things, and you want to find out how many different ways could you arrange this. So, you'd do three with that exclamation point, or the factorial for three. So, to do, so to do any factorial, what you do is you multiply all the positive whole numbers before it, and then, it, and then itself. So, three would be one times two times three. And then that makes six, so therefore you could arrange three things six different ways. Count them up, they're all right there. By the way, you can't do factorials for negative numbers because you can't, you know, have negative things unless you count them as positive. Know what I mean? And this is a really cool thing in math because you know um, how uh, um, usually there are 52 cards in a deck of cards? Well, the factorial of 52 is... Uh, huge. So, even the small numbers, or relatively small numbers, like 52, they can be big, they can get big fast in factorials. So, there is actually a chance that if you deal a deck of cards, there's a chance that in history, there has never been a deck of cards that has been dealed that exact way. Isn't that pretty cool? And there is a way to reverse factorials if you if you have the number of ways but not the number of things, then you can keep dividing by positive integers going up and up until well yeah, until you get to one. And then the last number you did before you got to one is how many things you have. Like um for twenty-four, twenty-four divided by one is twenty-four. 24 divided by 2 is 12, and then 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. The last number we uh, did before we, got to, uh, before we got to 1 was 4. Therefore, if you have 24 different ways, then you have 4 things. Get it? Thanks for watching! I hope you liked my video.